another day's restoration on the bus and as you can see I've now got the whole of the cargo floor area in a coat of enamel paint so I was able to do this during the week just before work didn't take too long to be honest uh, firstly I'll give it a good coat of rust converter and then a couple of days later once cured I came in and I just brushed the enamel paint in it didn't take too long at all so I've got those heat events back together and the levers on those are now operational they're working and I'm just at the stage now where I'm looking at measuring for the size of marine ply that I want to put down as my uh, base floor level now I've got this strip that's just been delivered stainless steel edging strip and from that I've been able to get the thickness measure the thickness of the board that I require so I'm going to go for a six mil marine ply as a base level obviously there'll be something on top of that which I don't know what I fancy at the moment and um, most suppliers that I've seen offer eight by four sheets so that's eight foot by four foot sheets but um, I'm thinking of getting three by three sheets four of those and then I'll be able to cut in and around these heat events where required so until I decide on that let's move on to something else so I think that's pretty much both headlight bowls as good as they're gonna get I've um, filled it rubbed it down filled it, primed it filled it again rubbed it down and in between drying coats I've just started another little task of making these two little brackets um, just giving them a coat of satin black and they're about due another one I think so I'll tell you what they're for in a little while just a little second coat sprayed on them brackets now and uh, put them in front of the heater not only is it a little bit cold but just to uh, get them cured a little bit quicker Right then, so the time that it's taken me to try and dig these fuel hose clamps out, the paint's actually dry now, and that's the finished article. So I've made myself a little fuel filter bracket, and that is going to secure itself up underneath the underside of a uh, fuel tank strap bolt, and uh, save it moving about. All right, let's try and get this fitted. I think it looks rather charming. I might as well get some bits and pieces out of the way, start with this exhaust. So I'm going to stop there putting the exhaust and the heat exchangers on purely because I haven't got the two gaskets that I need for the heat exchangers there but it gave me the opportunity to um, remember to make the two fuel hose clips that I need to put on the underside of the uh, fuel tank area the old ones were uh, very brittle and they broke off but I'm still waiting for the um, small delivery that I've ordered including a new air filter now I'm just going to go for a pancake type style and uh, lose this all bath version get that out of the way but like I say I'm waiting for electrical connections uh, some fuel hose clamps and whatnot so I think I'll uh, do some more work on the doors so just a little bit more filling and sanding down to do on this door now the uh, top section needs doing more so than the rest of it but hopefully I'll be able to shoot a coat of primer on there along with these side steps that you saw me restore a little while ago now they was in quite a bad way I mean there's a lot of new metal that's been let in now it's got one more hole to be drilled on there so the uh, front bumper section can actually be attached to it but um, hopefully I've got enough primer to do the whole lot it's reminded me as well when I get to uh, get this bumper sorted out I've actually got to drill and fix some new fittings in the front so it uh, holds itself onto the front of the bus
it's gone on way too thick but it's only a first coat anyway I just wanted to use the primer up that I had left I can't believe flies even though I'm doing it indoors have come and seeked the new paint out and I did run out just as I got a first coat on these side steps another restoration top tip for when you're painting is don't wear a red hoodie with toggles on it gone and got that front dog leg and the front grill in filler primer and I've given it a good sanding down so that's pretty much ready to go for the actual uh, final primer now so I do know that some of the videos are quite dark I've got all the light fittings to rectify that it's just getting the time to get them fitted up and then I won't have to rely on the little floodlights that I stick on the floor but I'll end it there for today make it better than it was and I'll see you on the next one